y'all. It's your favorite dreadhead. I am back with another video. I know y'all like, dang, like, where you been? Man, I've been super busy. I've been, <clears throat> been having a lot on my mind, y'all. So, you know, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry that it took me some time, but hey, I'm back. So, as y'all can tell by the title, had to go get me a Popeye's sandwich. Had to go get me a sandwich, man. And then, you know, I love shrimp, so I cooked me some shrimp. You know what I'm saying? On the side. Y'all can see it. Cook me some shrimp. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna try this uh, Popeye's voodoo sauce. Some voodoo sauce. I'm gonna try that. So, <clears throat> what I've been doing lately. I've been working, y'all. I'm sorry. I just been like working pretty hard and just trying to make sure these bills is paid, you know what I'm saying? Oh, before I get into it, I almost forgot. Let's get into this prayer. Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for the hands that prepared it. Let it be nourished to the body, the spirit, and to the soul. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, now we can eat, y'all. But <clears throat> like I was saying, where it go? Like I was saying, I've been paying bills, man. Just trying to work, get some money. You know what I'm saying? Just working, man. That's all I've been doing. So, what are we gonna talk about today? I have a lot. I have a lot we can talk about today. Um, let's talk about ungrateful people. Let's talk about that because it's a lot of ungrateful people out there, and I know a few. But never mind that. <clears throat> but let's just talk about ungrateful people in general. When somebody is down on their ass, when somebody is down on their look, let me face that, you know what I'm saying? I said ass, so. Well, like I said, when somebody is down on their luck and then you have people that just won't, 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 won't. But when it's, but you always giving, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a giving heart, so I don't mind helping anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you need it, I got it. And if I don't got it, I'm gonna make sure I get it because I will want the same in return. But it's people out there that wanna take, when you up, that's when they want to fool with you. That's when they want something. But when you down, you don't hear from them. You don't hear from them at, at all. But when you call them and you, and you really need something, they don't come through. They're not helping you. You know what I'm saying? So why continue to fool with them if they're not helping you? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not right. Like, don't do that. It's not cool. Like, you can't be selfish. Like, it's not right at all, and I don't like it. Like, don't try to use me when I'm up, but when I'm down, I don't hear from you. But when you up, you you get your little money, I don't hear from you. You know what I'm saying? Like, dang, like, if it's all about the money, let me know. It's just not cool. I don't, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Leave y'all comments down below. Do y'all, how y'all feel about that? You know what I'm saying? Ungrateful people who don't want to help you but you help them. It's not cool. I've been waiting all day for this. I got the spicy. I want to see how the spicy tastes. So let's see. Oh my goodness. Did y'all hear that crunch? Boy. That crunch was everything. I bet y'all won't watch it. Got some shrimp, like like I told y'all. I love shrimp, so I had to make me some. You know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> did y'all watch the game? If y'all a Dallas Cowboy fan, make sure y'all leave 
y'all comments down below. Okay? Because we, we did that yesterday. Even though I missed the game, but I've watched the highlights. But we did. We won it. I knew we was going to win, but I'm, I feel bad because I didn't watch the game. Who watched Power? Leave your comments down below. Tell me who y'all think shot goes. I already... I already think I know who shot those. I think it was Tariq. Well, badass Tariq. That's who I think it was, Tariq. Thanks for his shot his daddy. Because Ghost didn't want to turn himself in for Tariq. I win. You just said that he ain't your daddy, so why you want to turn himself in for you? Come on now, Tariq. Y'all, this is real good. Go back to our conversation though. Ungrateful people. I don't like it. Like, don't try to use me. Like, <clears throat> that's one of the biggest things. And I think, like, being a Sagittarius, we have a, a giving heart that as soon as somebody messes over us, we might be mad at them for a little bit, but then we right back, you know what I'm saying, friends with them or helping them when they need us. Like, that's the only downfall about being a Sagittarius. <clears throat> we always want to help. But I'm going to be 30, November 27th. I can't help nobody. They don't want to help me. You know what I'm saying? The burger is good. The sandwich is good. The only thing I don't like It's the pills, like, I don't like the pills. Other than that, pretty good. <clears throat> yeah, this voodoo sauce got a kick to it. But other than that, it's good, like I said. <clears throat> but yeah, man, like <clears throat> I've been, I've been dealing with some things. You know what I'm saying? Like, just kind of feel uh, discouraged about you know YouTube in general. But um, I had to, I had to like take a take a minute to myself to figure out. If this really want to, if this is really what I want to do, and it is, you know, say like, I like talking. Even though y'all, I'm not talking to y'all, but some people out there, you know, understand where I'm coming from. You know, what I'm saying like, it's cool. At first, I was like, man, I don't know if I really want to do this anymore. Like, I'm not getting the feedback that I want. It's not happening fast like I want. You know, what I'm saying like I see other channels rocking in and booming and my channel just like i guess i'm an impatient person like i like stuff to pop off right then and there but i know it takes time and it takes consistency like i gotta be consistent in everything that i do you know what i'm saying and <clears throat> i'm gonna get it together you know what i'm saying uh i appreciate you know the group the group chat that i'm in you know what i'm saying I, I appreciate everybody in that group chat you know, I just can't single out one person. I got to, you know, big thanks to everybody, you know what I'm saying, for subscribing to my channel. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you go like, subscribe, and leave your comments down below and share. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not following me on Instagram, that's in the bio. It's going to be in the link below. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm back. I'm going to hit y'all with some more videos. I'm actually waiting on my, my stuff to come in the mail so I can do these challenges, man. Like, I got a lot of food challenges that I'm finna do, but it's taking forever to come in the mail. I don't know what's going on. And I'm waiting on my ring. Like, I have a lot of stuff coming in that ain't here yet. And it's really frustrating. So, yeah. That's what I'm waiting on. Like I said, I can't eat these pickles, you know.
people don't taste right to me. I want to tell y'all some, um, the reason why, like, another reason why I really haven't been, you know, recording my videos, um, October, like, around the holidays, it's really hard for me, um, super hard, because, um, <clears throat> my grandma's uh, birthday was October the 24th. She passed away June 12th of 2017. Um, she had leukemia. We found out in November. So, you know, it's it's hard, you know what I'm saying? Even though she's been gone for like two years, it's still hard. Because that, that was, she was my best friend. Like, whatever, whenever I needed to talk, she was there. So, it's kind of hard to cope with that. Like, I don't really like celebrating the holidays anymore. Like ever since, ever since she passed away, I don't really like celebrating the holidays. It's like what for? Like the holidays is to be around family, to be around the people that you love. But when you lose someone that's like the center of your life, who raised you, who, you know what I'm saying? Who didn't even treat you like a grandchild, treat you like their daughter. Like it's it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Like. My grandma was my everything, and it hurts. Like, I don't think I've ever experienced that kind of loss like that. That just made me just want to just give up, you know? And, and then in October, the end of October, the 27th, I lost my Uncle Paul. Uh, I really lost him in 2016, if I'm correct. I think 2016. I'm not sure. But it was in October. It was October 27th. And then losing <clears throat> a friend on Halloween. Um, her name was Sherelle. It, it's, you lose people that you know to talk to a lot. And, you know, it's just... You don't want to put yourself out there like, oh, I'm emotional because of this, I'm emotional because of that. But you know, like, for my grandma, I have to think about her kids. For my Uncle Carl, I have to think about, you know, his kids, his grandkids. And then my friend, I have to think about her sister, her sisters, her mom, you know, her brother, <clears throat> her dad, you know what I'm saying? Like, Sometimes you have to be strong for them. You know what I'm saying? I, I have a good foundation. I have a good I have a, a good support system. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you have that support system, but they need it too. You know? You support them, but they need your support too. And a lot of people tend to forget that. And a lot of people don't care. They only care about themselves. And they're selfish with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, selfish, pe selfish people. I don't like them. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be selfish. It's, it's time out for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you never know what a person is going through. You know what I'm saying? I know times get hard, but you, you don't know. You might think your situation is worse. But somebody out there is having it 10 times worse than you. And they get up every day, put a smile on their face without talking to anybody and just going about their day, like everything is okay. But knowing they need to talk to somebody, you know what I'm saying? If you know anybody out there that's going through depression, because I've, I've been in it. I told her I was super depressed, but it, it can't always be about me. So I keep my feelings bottled up and you shouldn't do that. Talk to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, let somebody know what's going on with you mentally and physically so they can be there for you. People that actually care about you, tell them. 
because depression is not nothing nice. It's so terrible to be depressed and you can't really do anything but just sleep and just want to be by yourself. But really, you need to be around people that you love and that loves you, that really loves you. Not no fake love, just to get close to you and get what they want from you. Real love. That's what you need. So if you know anybody that's suffering from depression and they're not talking to nobody, the signs are there. But you got to be able to see the signs. And if you really know that person, you know how they move, you know how they act. Talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Just text them. How you doing today? You know what I'm saying? Instead of asking for something. Like, text them. You know what I'm saying? Let them know that, hey, I care. Even if they don't text you back, just by you saying that might change something in their life that day. Like I, like I always say, you have 24 hours to do something positive. What are you going to do with your 24 hours? God gives us 24 hours a day to do something positive. What are we gonna do to make somebody life better? What are we gonna do to change the world? Cause all I see is still hate. I don't see nothing that's changing. So what are you gonna do? My supporter, my envy nation. What are we gonna do? We just gonna sit back and do nothing? Or we gonna rise up and do something for the community and the people that we love? Leave your comments down below. Y'all, my foot. Don't want to sleep. <clears throat> but enough about me. How was y'all weekend? My weekend was cool. <clears throat> See, I was going to do a video over the weekend. But I had my godson, and I didn't know how he was going to act. So I decided not to do a video, and I should have did one. Y'all. Oh, to my subscribers. If y'all not subscribed to JB Grubber, make sure y'all go subscribe to her channel as well. I haven't I haven't met this person. I haven't met her yet, but she seems like she's down to earth. She's so cool. I think I'm gonna have to make my way to California just so, you know what I'm saying, I can link up with her. You know what I'm saying? If I want to link up with anybody, it's gonna have to be JB Grubber because she's cool, you know what I'm saying? Like some YouTubers that, you know, do mukbangs, they kind of, they are right, but it's like they feel like you owe them something, you know what I'm saying? And I don't like that. <clears throat> I don't like to feel like I have to bow down to you because you, you have more viewers than me and more views than me and more subscribers than me. I don't like that. JB Grubbin has never made me feel like oh she's rude or anything like she's cool she's very down to earth so y'all go check her channel out man her link gonna be down below wow this sandwich is good and this voodoo sauce with the shrimp is pretty good too Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I have a pet peeve. And let's go back to to people being selfish. I hate 
when a person, when I mean I hate, I mean that, I hate when a person <clears throat> try to demand me to do something. Don't demand me. I need you to do this. You're not going to get it done. Don't demand me to do anything. You can ask me, and if I tell you I do it, I will. But don't say, I need you to give me this for this. Or I need this. I need your car, or I need you to take me So Don't demand me. You can ask me, hey, can you take me somewhere? I, I would like it if you could take me somewhere. I'll pay you to take me somewhere. I'll take you. But I need... I need it's not gonna get you nowhere because I'm not gonna do it okay so I had to make that clear don't don't demand me to do anything because I'm not gonna do it that's a that's a hell no yeah a big hell no I'm not gonna do it because when I need because <clears throat> when I need you don't give it so I, I can't do nothing for you. Sorry. Just thought I should let y'all know that. Don't don't say I need you to don't say I need to me. Ask me. And and I know y'all feel the same way. Like people always say I need you to do something. But when you say I need to them, why are you sounding so demanding? Nah, 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 nah. You sounded demanding with me. So why I can't say it with you? Don't don't do it. Y'all oh, yeah, don't fool. People are so quick to say that. I don't know what's wrong with people these days. I don't know why they want to try to be so demanding. And I have a, I have a serious question that I'm hoping y'all can give me the answer to. Because I asked, I asked this question in my last video uh, when I did the car mukbang. And I said, why is it every time <clears throat> somebody black say they're going to do something and then, uh, and then you hear, oh, she can't do this, she can't do that. Why can't the black community uplift each other? Why, why is it so hard for us to be so positive with, with us, our race, but every other race? can do that they can uplift each other and they can build each other up but we love to tear each other down every chance we get we're tearing each other down and then we get mad when we don't have the support that we want how you think we're gonna support each other and we don't even like each other but soon as something happened it's all black lives matter but then when we when a black kill another black we don't hear Black Lives Matter. But we hear when a police officer shoots one of us down. I don't understand it. It's crazy. Like, I, I just sit back and I just think about a lot of stuff. Like, I'm so ready to get through with school so I can help. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I can help people. Like I said, I have a big heart and I don't care about helping anybody. But you gotta show me you need the help, that you want the help. Sit down, Cash. That's my dog. We have it's time out, man. It's it's so much stuff that's going on in the world. And we're so selfish. 
and so jealous of one another that we can't see it. It's like we don't want we see it, but we don't want to see it. But then get mad when this it, it's just so it's, that's a whole nother topic. Like, it shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be like that at all. <clears throat> but we do it every time. We can't uplift each other for nothing in this world. And everybody out here, they be quoting these Nipsey quotes and stuff like that. But turn around the next day and, and talking about somebody, how they're not going to have this long or that long. What's the point of even talking about something that's positive, which Nip was a positive man, and then you go the next day and say some negative negative stuff like what's the point what's the point like that's the, and that's one of the reasons why I like Instagram and YouTube better than I like Facebook and maybe y'all and leave y'all comments down below because I want to know I feel like Instagram is more positive the Facebook, and and this is why I say this. I feel like the Instagram and YouTube, it's like I don't want to sound racist when I say this, but it's like the whites and the Mexicans and some black people, and then the Facebook is just negative. It's like a lot of black people love to tear you down on Facebook, but when you go on Instagram and YouTube, well, sometimes YouTube can be a little messy as well, but I'm just going to take YouTube away, and I'm going to say Instagram. Ever since I've been posting my videos, everything that I post on Instagram, I get a positive response. Facebook, I get a negative response. I've never posted nothing about my YouTube channel on Facebook, and I'm not. Because the people that's on Facebook that are my friends, I have some that's positive and that will be happy for me. But everybody else, why she doing that? Or oh, she must be out of something to do. She must ain't got no job. Or oh, it ain't gonna last long. That's what Facebook to me is like. But Instagram, I get all the love in the world. And I appreciate all my Instagram followers. In my YouTube subscribers, I appreciate y'all. Envy Nation, I, I love y'all to death. I thank y'all so much for rocking with me. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all don't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Last video I made, I had like two, 200 and some subscribers. Now I'm up three, 316. You know what I'm saying? Which is not bad. You know, it's going up. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm happy about that, but tell me your thoughts on that. Like, do y'all feel like Facebook is negative and Instagram is more positive? Because I feel like Instagram is more positive than, you know, Facebook. Only thing I see on Facebook is mess, more mess, and more mess. That's what I see on Facebook. Y'all, yeah, I'm full. I never finish my food. I don't know why, but I'm like, I'm real life full. Like, I can't eat no more. But if you like this video, give it, a, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go subscribe. Please subscribe. Hit that notification button at the top and share it. Leave your comments down below. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know everything. I'm... I'm not a mean YouTuber, I promise you I'm not. All feedback is good feedback to me. I don't care if it's bad or, or not. Whatever I need to work on, I'll work on it. Just tell me what it is. 
You know what I'm saying? Tell me what y'all think I should do next. And I do it. You know what I'm saying? So, from the bottom of my heart, I love y'all. I'm going to be, I'm back. I'm back. I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to take time. Like I said, I had to take time out for me because I was going through a lot. I was dealing with a lot. But hopefully, y'all will rock with me. You know what I'm saying? For the subscribers, that, my new subscribers, welcome to the Emmy Nation, man. I'm happy. I'm happy that I got some more subscribers. I appreciate y'all. The appreciate y'all so much thank y'all for watching this video like i said if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel please go subscribe please share comment and hit that notification button at the top so y'all can be notified when i drop my next video and i'm out peace i love y'all